Welcome to Console X, everybody. Vinyl Spinners here with a very quick review of Roundabout on Xbox One. Roundabout's an interesting title. It was a title that I was looking forward to playing because it looked very, very different to anything that was coming. In the end, what we got is a game that's a whole lot of fun to play, but ultimately just lacks that little magic spark to tip it over the edge. Let's start at the beginning. You're introduced to the female you limousine driver this, who drives quite differently. And through a mix, stuff. cheesy Real FMV video, material. disco music, great characters, and side challenges. Now, as I said, Roundabout is a fun game, but it Over does there, fall kid. quite Press. short of the mark. Personally, I had a whole lot of fun with it, but it does get quite repetitive. It starts off quite easy, but by the time you reach Spin City, things get a lot more challenging. But ultimately, it just becomes repetitive, which is a shame because it's a different idea but there's nowhere else for it to go. In keeping things short, anywhere. you can upgrade Try your limousine with various hats. They're purely cosmetic. You end up with a jump button. That adds a little different element. But again, as I said, it doesn't make the gameplay dramatically better. There are special power-ups that can help you slow down time. But they're not really necessary to get through the game. Just a little bit of skill will get you through. There's necessary checkpoints as well that stop you having to go all the way back and avoid that frustration. Perhaps if they hadn't had those little checkpoints there, it might have been a little bit more challenging. The side challenges were well, great, such as keepy uppies right with a football course. or a home okay, run so challenge or outrunning out a bomb or avoiding cars being dropped on your head. They're all great fun, but ultimately they don't add enough to keep you at the game and it doesn't stop the game from being repetitive. It is a fun game, it's got a great style, the videos are great, the characters are great, the music is great, but it just falls slightly short of the mark. Overall from me, round the bell, gets a 7 out of 10. I do love it myself, I always say that, I know. It's a typical thing that I say, but let's be honest, it just falls short of the mark. And it's unfortunate because it is different. It does take a risk where other games don't. I've been Vinyl Spinners, thank you for watching this review. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave us a comment if you've played the game. Tell us what you think about it. Tell us if you agree with what I'm saying. And we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.